Hi, respected viewers. Welcome back to the channel Geography with Bimal. And today, in this video, we will discuss a very small and popular topic that is economic activities. That is a plus 10 standard video. Anyway, uh, let's start. First of all, a question will come that, sir, what is economic activity? I have written this here. So, we may say like that economic activities can be uh, defined as those activities of men through which men can earn money, through which uh, men can satisfy his basic needs and other needs. So, the uh, simple definition of economic activity we can say like that. In, in another way, we can say that any action that involves producing, distributing, or consuming products or services is an economic activity. Economic activities uh, exist at all levels within a society. Rather than, we can say that any activities involving money or the exchange of products or services are, uh, we may term as economic activities. As you know, so this is the somewhat definition of economic activities and as you know there are four types of economic activities and <coughs> these are primary economic activities followed by secondary then tertiary economic activities and last one is quaternary economic activities. So first of all if you like to explain these primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary activities. Number one, this is number one, uh, this is primary activities. Primary activities or so called primary occupation. The human activity which through which man collects resources from the nature. Okay? Uh, what I have told? The human activity. Uh, through which man collects resource from the nature is called primary occupation or primary activities. Here direct extraction of materials, direct extraction of materials and production from nature. Simply speaking, primary sector or primary activities refer to debt activities of the economy which uses manual resource to produce goods. Here, man is the prime factor. Okay. Natural factors play a crucial role in the production of this production process. For example, uh, agriculture and allied activities like mining, like fishery, then forestry, uh, then forestry, Dairy and poultry are included in this sector or in these activities. Primary sector dominates in the underdeveloped countries because, as we noted, more than 70% of the total population in the underdeveloped or so called developing countries like India, Bangladesh, then Pakistan, uh, they are basically engaged in uh, primary, primary uh, sector or so called agricultural activities. This primary activities or primary occupation is followed by this secondary. Here what happened? In this secondary occupation or secondary activities, the human activity through which, we can stay like that, the human activity through which man transform the commodities collected from the nature into a usable form by using various technologies is called secondary occupation here here in, in in the secondary activities uh, secondary activities add value to natural resources it's basically adds value to natural uh, resources by transforming raw materials into valuable products here say for example cotton in the balls has limited use when it is in the form of cotton no only cotton uh, or in the ball, but after it is transformed into yarn, 
when you will transfer it mechanically into yarn, then that becomes valuable to uh, make the clothes. In the same way, iron ore cannot be used directly from the mines, is it? It's not possible for us to uh, use it directly from the mine. But after being converted it into steel, when it becomes steel, it gets the, its value and can be used for making many valuable machines like tools, etc. So secondary activities therefore mistake that are concerned with manufacturing, that is concerned with processing and construction or infrastructure industries. Next is tertiary. In case of tertiary occupation, what happens? The human activity is the prominent in this in this uh, tertiary occupation. So we may like say like that. The human activity through which the commodities produced by means of primary and secondary activities reach the consumers or consumers is called the hmm, primary or tertiary or not primary tertiary occupation. Tertiary activities or tertiary occupation include all types of services of human being, like that of required skills, skill. What we need has huh? special skills should be there, provided in exchange of payments. For example, these are called uh, the, say for example, uh, health, then education. Without ed education, it's not possible to give a service to the nation, no, as a as an expert. So law, then governance, and all recreation sector, these are falls under the category of tertiary occupation. These services requires other theoretical knowledge and the practical training. Without theoretical knowledge and practical training, it's not possible. Tertiary activities are related to the service sector. Okay. Then manpower here, the in case of tertiary sector, manpower is an important component of the service sector as most of the tertiary activities are performed by skilled labor the technical labor, uh, sound labor, professionally trained experts uh, and the consultant. In the initial stage of economic development, we can say like that, larger portion of people worked in the primary sector because uh, if, we, if we think about the uh, uh, say from Mandata age, okay, here the most of the peoples were very uh, illiterate, so they basically engaged in the uh, uh, in the in the primary sector. But nowadays, with the advancement of science and technology, uh, people they have been engaging in the uh, secondary sector than uh, than tertiary sector or quaternary sector. In a developed economy or in a developed country. The majority of the workers get employed in tertiary activities and a moderate proportion is employed in the secondary activity which is just opposite, opposite to the, uh, opposite to the um, in case opposite to the develop, uh, uh, developing country or undeveloped country. What did this happen? I have told you already know uh, in case of underdeveloped or undeveloped country uh, where the majority of the peoples are engaged in uh, tertiary, yes, tertiary sector, uh, this is just opposite to the uh, scenario, that means majority of the people they are engaged in primary sector in case of underdeveloped or developing countries. Last one is quaternary. Uh, quaternary uh, means the human activity through which the secondary and the tertiary activities can be made more easy and productive and then it is called coordinary occupation. This is the last one. Uh, we, we can take one example uh, to clarify it. That is uh, the bank services or say other allied financial uh, services or financial institutions, publicity media or so-called mass com, then administration, then education like with the teacher and the research scholar all are fall on this in this Coordinary occupation. I think uh, to some extent I am able to make it clear uh, uh, 
that is what is the economy activities and what are their types thank you very much